She's a six month old, she found it very funny. They were taking their feet through the house. To this day, I still see chocolate specks um, on my wall. We spent forever cleaning it up. So I was having a birthday party for my daughter for her ninth birthday and she had 15 kids over. Um, and we were really excited about the party except that it started pouring down rain um, a few hours before. We were debating if we let them go outside or not. Uh, it started to clear up so we let them go out and they were having so much fun and they got into the kids chalk as they always do. And it was beautiful but I didn't think about the fact that it was actually on the steps and that they would eventually be coming back in. So they were playing in the yard and their shoes got wet and then they walked up on the stairs and walked straight through the chalk. So the wet shoes got the chalk all over the bottom and then they just stomp through the house all over my dark carpet floors. And it was in the middle of birthday party so I couldn't really even clean up till later. So it was not fun. So my previous job was as a nanny and I worked with two children and one day we were rained inside. So an activity that I came up with was to play with colored play with Wesley. We were inside, me, his younger sister, and their dog, and the dog decided he really needed to go outside. It was quick, let him out, because it was raining, he came right back in. And when he came in, one of the first things that he did was start scooting his bottom across the floor. And I didn't care, like, it's normal, right? Until I noticed the blue colored clay coming off his bottom onto the hardwood floors. Wesley's freaking out, Mikel thinks it's funny. We had to grab a mop and some cleaning supplies and just, you know, normally we don't watch TV, but like turn the TV on because it was a big mess to clean up and clean the dog. So it was a Friday night and my girlfriend and I were hanging out at her apartment and we decided what better to do on a Friday night than pop a movie in and cook a frozen pizza. We went to go preheat the oven, we set it and forget it, and about five to 10 minutes later, we were sitting on the couch, we started to smell smoke we figured out that her roommate had been storing plastic inside of the oven. Now, I'm no expert, but I know that's probably something you shouldn't be doing. Um, my girlfriend rushed to grab the fire extinguisher and it got everywhere. Thank goodness we had the Oceder scrunch. We used that to clean the kitchen and uh, was able to get every nook and cranny and made what was an awful situation much better. So it was my first Thanksgiving as both a new mom and a new homeowner. So of course I hosted Thanksgiving that year and I was in charge of two things, um, the turkey and dessert. The turkey was awesome. I kicked it out of the park. It was my first turkey ever, amazing. Dessert um, was not so great. I ended up deciding to make a chocolate mousse. I go to turn on the stand mixer and it just, I just get attacked by this flurry of of chocolate all over my kitchen. So on my cabinets, on my floor, on the counters. It was on the backsplash, which I don't have a backsplash, so it was just on the wall. I'm just standing there like, oh, this is my life. Of course, of course this would happen, that I would get chocolate all over my kitchen on Thanksgiving. Wesley was pretty disappointed that a lot of his blue colored clay was like on the floor, he was out of it. And Mikkel, she's a six month old, she found it very funny that the dog was scooting his bottom across the floor. Do not store plastic in the oven. <laughs> the kids loved it. So yeah, lesson definitely learned. We ended up having to go buy a apple pie, which I think everybody liked much better. Sa 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 sa.